here in southwestern Arizona. A cloud in the sky, temperatures in the low 80s. We'll get a little cool tonight by the time the Lady Matadors uh, kick off at 7 o'clock. Underway here tonight in the 2022 Region 1 Championship game as Campbell Young plays a long ball forward, but possession is won by Yavapai. They'll play through their back line. Their defenseman, Jacob Larsman, a big, strong defender from Missoula, Montana, boots the ball forward, but Jin Inoue uh, sends it back as they just play a catch in the midfield. And now Ishoki Yoshida, one of three Matadors named first team all ACCAC, sends it cross field. Kamei just outside. He'll send it into the box. Far side, the header is tapped away off the defenseman's head. Carlos Uriarte, and it's out for a corner. And I mean, I, I think you see that first ball Yavapai played over the top. That's what they're going to be looking for. That's their success. That's their bread and butter. And uh, I think, you know, right now, Western having a set piece. Hopefully the boys are able to capitalize quickly. And in these games, usually whoever scores the first goal usually walks away with the W. Veragara puts a boot to the corner all the way through to the keeper. That's Rashawn Sandy, a freshman from San Fernando, Trinidad. He's allowed 10 goals and has made 28 saves. 12 games, 11 starts. Five goals two games ago against Phoenix. His season high given up. Has recorded seven shutouts this season. Long ball played down the touchline. Chasing it down is Michael Mojis, the sophomore midfielder from Slovakia. Steps back towards the midfield. Marking him as Campbell Young. They play it back to Logan Phipps, a freshman defender from Tampa, Florida. Young trying to step forward. Now played down the sideline again. Cardono scored both goals in that 2-1 win. He's denied on his cross, and it's a corner for Yavapai on the near side. They're first of the afternoon. And this is one of the things that uh, Western wants to limit, that Yavapai, you know, with their uh, strength, being set pieces, the least that you can give them. You know, you don't want to invite them into the game. So, again, hopefully the boys are very organized. I know I saw them this week, tactically, Kenny, looking at these little details. So, the least they can give them, you know, don't want to invite them into the match. To the far side of the box, Nick Canina tries to put a head to it. It's off of Jacob Larson and out for a goal kick. Atsuki Sato will put a boot to the ball for the first time tonight. Sato was named first team all ACCAC. So, it was Yoshida. Kamei, along with Sato, the three Matadors earning recognition. All ACCAC and first team all uh, Region 1, Division 1 honors uh, for those three sophomores. Of course, two returners and one transfer. This Matadors team who brought in a lot of new talent. They had to reload after last year. Ball trying to play through to Makariccia and then winning at the midfield is Yoshida. He'll go wide. Kamei. With the touch, now takes it with the left just outside the 18, tries to curl it into the box, was looking for Makadicha. It's headed away and then cleared by Yavapai's back line. Ball played up far side. Chasing it down is Maya Lopez, and it's knocked away and out for a throw for Yavapai, but uh, just able to stunt that attack ever so slightly. The Avapai has brought their cheering section just off to our right. <laughs> Logan Phipps into the midfield. Austin Piercy, a freshman midfielder from Phoenix, went to Boulder Creek High School. Yarte has to play it all the way back to Rashawn Sandy, the freshman keeper. Just outside the 18, boots it forward. Toshetto wins the header. Kamei can't win it away from Phipps, who will play it long ahead. Trying to signal out Lopez. Goes all the way through to the keeper. Sato scoops it up just outside off his line. And again, in any of these kind of match, first five minutes, you can see both teams kind of feeling each other out. Western, of course, wants to keep the ball in possession. And here they go, trying to match a little bit of the direct play from Yamapai. Makadicha. Nine goals this season for Terry. Trying to slip it through to Ortner. It goes a bit long. Luis was able to save it, but Yavapai will try to play it out and deflect it off of Nozomu Kame. It'll be a throw for Yavapai. Good idea there, just that touch a bit too strong. Phipps getting it back from Cardona. And then Cardona, a heavy touch. It's out. For a Matador's throw, and they win it back. And De Silva Teixeira will take the throw. One of those transfers from the University of Northwestern Ohio. 
Rakitic, the freshman from Paris, France. Got a late start to the season, not playing the first few games, and now tied for the team leading goals with Lewis Ortner, the Division I transfer from Longwood. Ball played wide. Shutaro Endo, freshman who's had a fantastic debut season on the defense for the Matadors. Yoshida tried to turn the corner and was taken down by Christopher Korn. I'm going to say it went off Korn, excuse me. And another throw coming for the Matadors, who have settled it down just a tad. Teams traded runs here in the first five minutes. No clear chance for either team. And again, with that long ball forward outside of the 18 is Sato. He'll dribble it back into the box and then Send a short pass up the pitch to Endo. No score. Into the sixth minute. Our first of two Region 1 championship games here on this Friday evening in Yuma. That goes out off of Phipps. A throw for the Matadors just in front of us. Veragara wrestled away. They have some words as they run back towards the 18. Low-lying cross into the box. Goes all the way out to Campbell Young. Tried to feed it back to Yoshida, but too light of a pass, and it was stepped in front of Nick Canina, who had a big goal in that win against Pima. He opened the scoring in that 3-2 win to clinch the ACC-AC crown. Ball played off, off of Dylan Hunter, the freshman defenseman from Chandler, who has started their last four games after starting the year as a substitute. Shinanoe, one of the many sophomores on this group. A strike from outside the 18 from Vergara is wide of the post and out for a goal kick. First shot of the night. So looking for our first shot on goal as we play into the seventh minute. And the Matador scored first in the opener in Prescott. It was Kyle De Silva to shadow with a strike from outside the box. And then the Avapai would score the next two. Tied it late and then won it in overtime. I should say it was Alejandro Cardona who did that. He scored both of their goals. Rematch of last year's Region 1 title game. Of course, Matadors won that game 2-0, went on to lose 2-1 to Salt Lake. It was their first loss of the year. Foul is called. It's Yoshida was tripped up. Went on to the national tournament. Went undefeated in pool play. Got the revenge on Salt Lake in the national semifinal, and then the injury bug hit them hard and would fall to Iowa Western, the Reavers, 2-0 in the national title game, finishing as national runners-up. Yeah, very unfortunate for the boys. Uh, lost two All-Americans in their midfield. I mean, I still think it was a great final considering you're missing two All-Americans, kept it close, 2-0. Uh, very difficult to, uh, you have your captain not available even for the semi, Evan Bromarek, and Red One going down after putting you up uh, over Kale to get you through the group. So a little bit unfortunate, but I think uh, speaking with the staff this year, I think they have the same expectation this year with this group. A little bit younger, um, but very exciting group. I think uh, a lot of people have seen Terry come on. I got to see him at Phoenix for the first time, and he's a very special player. He he's, reminds me a little bit of Red One, um, and I think he's uh, going to be a big Im impact tonight. Uh, when he touches the ball, he's just a different level player that um, any defender, worst case scenario, he's running at you You with a lot of confidence. So, again, first couple minutes, you see Yavapai trying to figure out what to do. You see Western sitting back a little bit of defensive, knowing that the counter will be there available at some point, and hopefully that will allow the first goal to open up things up tonight. Yeah, you mentioned that group play from last year. That was a tough one. Wins over LSU, Eunice, and Cowley County did not have an easy road 
Yeah, no way. A pair of 11s down the field getting tripped up on each other. Joey Vega tries to put in a cross, tipped away by Inoue, and Yoshida plays it up. Ortner curls around and plays it back to Yoshida. On the give and go, Yoshida now a through ball trying to find Makarichi. It goes wide towards the touchline. Terry dribbles around the defender, tight roping that line inside the 18. Takes a shot with the right hand, deflected, and Sandy, the keeper, will come off his line to scoop it up and throw it out of the box. There you mentioned, Coach, the run from Terry and touched the ball, almost made something happen. He's a special player out here, I think. Uh... He's won, uh, I saw in the conference this year. Uh, We're going to get a yellow here on Vergara, who kicked the ball after. Lopez went down on that far sideline. So a yellow is out. Well, the Matadors this season, 25 yellows. Vergara, the guilty party as the clock has stopped. The athletic trainer is out to. Uh, take a look at the injured Rough Rider just in front of the Yavapai bench. It's actually Joey Vega who is down. Just in front of head coach Chris Hauser. Got tripped up there and then the foul and then the yellow coming right here as Vergara with the extra a little touch of the touch. ball. Love touch there. <laughs> Dangerous this type of game. Yeah, yellow card this early in the match conditions you further on later in the match. You got to be a little bit aware, I'm sure. Coaching staff will consider a, maybe a substitution later on just to be safe. So you have a pie, we'll play it back. Jacob Larson across the 18. This is Urarte. He's from Glendale. 15 games last season. He has a goal this year off that back line. Ball ricochets around in the midfield. Lopez getting turned away and plays it back to Cardona. Ball played back into the midfield. Coming over is Vergara, and he'll send it out of there, just clearing it. Ortner providing some pressure on Phipps, who will play it back. Yavapai mentioned their seven national championships. Coming in 32 years, 21 national tournament appearances, 13 appearances in the national championship game in those 32 years under Pantaleon. The last one coming in 2008. As mentioned, Lady Matador's head coach, Yvonne Dizdar, was a member of that team before heading off to the University of Seattle. Storied program. Matt Orzo, a win here tonight. You can certainly say they've taken over the top spot in the region the last two years. Offsides, flag was up on this near sideline. 32 minutes to go until half. No score. A pair of shots for the Matadors. No real good chances yet for either team. Nakadicha got on the doorstep, but his right-footed chance was off the back of a defender. As Sandy sends it all the way forward into the head of Toshedo, sends it back where it came from. Ortner on the run. Larson heads it forward. Gets it past Kamei. Tried to tap it over the defender. Played through. Kanina tries to step up, and that ball went right into the heels of the backtracking to Silva to Shadow, and he plays it back to Sato, who then kicks it right to Fabian Munoz, the Mador assistant coach, and former Mador himself. Setting in front of the scores table. Good to see Rex Glenn over there today as well. Back on that sideline for tonight. Ball 
ball played back to Inoue. And he'll send it all the way into the 18 where Sato will reverse the field on a pass to Nick Kanina, the freshman from Birmingham, United Kingdom. A poor touch. It's taken away by Yavapai. The game is now being played in the midfield. Sent back. All the way to Urarte. His only goal this season came in there. Convincing 9-0 win against South Mountain back in September. And that is out. Look out. Just to the left of Coach Verdugo. I feel good with a goalkeeper coach sitting here in case we get a shot over here. Got a little, uh, little <laughs> clips this year. <laughs> Ortner, quick tap outside to Nakarica. His cross attempt knocked away and then kicked up field that time by Mojas. Headed back towards the midfield. Yoshida trying to muscle off the defender and does so and back heels it to Inoue, but it was a bit too strong. This is where Western needs to be a little bit patient. As you see Yavapai, 10 men behind the ball in their own half. Uh, old coach of me usually told me if all 10 men are on your half, you're losing the match. So I think here Western needs to be a little bit patient, keep swinging the ball, looking for Terry, and I think they'll, they'll find their first one here pretty soon. Played back into the middle, and they're all the way back to the defense, and Jacob Larson... No score. 16 minutes in here tonight. Sandy the keeper. Back to Larson. You're seeing more and more Montana products in collegiate soccer. Mountain West region in general. They're more of a soccer hotbed as of late. Yeah, there's just something about those players. I had a couple of them at Colorado Mesa when I was up there with the men's at the NCAA. Just hard working boys that come in uh, not maybe playing the highest level at the youth level but once they come in they're looking for an opportunity but here you have Yavapai in a quick transition the ball through is all the way through to the keeper but going back to that the just boys that are looking for opportunity they usually do very well at the Juco a lot of them end up at the in that Armac region with Fort Lewis Mesa Makaricha trying to get it on his feet it's around the defender, back to the goal, leaves it off for Vergara, but right behind him was Cardona, who backtracked and took it away. Campbell Young steps up and wins possession back, and they're going to get a whistle, a foul coming on the slide tackle from Cardona. And it's going to be a yellow for Cardona. Both number eights are booked early on as they come together this time. Ball was pinballing back and forth there. Matadors were trying to get a run going. Cardona with the heavy tackle. Still looking for the game's first goal. Garo will stand over on the free kick. Going to swing one into the box. Makaricha trying to chase it down, but Del Judis comes in there and takes it away. 
Matador's get it back. Yoshida sidesteps his defender. Rolls it through. Makanicha back to Kanina. Nick spinning around. Uh, being bothered by three rough riders. Still dancing with it towards the sideline. And uh, leaves it off to Yoshida. And it's out off of the Matadors. Uh, a bit disjointed on that far side of the box. The defenseman Kanina had to uh, dribble out of trouble and had no other option than to take it towards that sideline. Throw coming for Yavapai, first substitution for them. header, but Yavapai regains possession. Peter Yarrow is in for Vergara. So both players who picked up their yellow cards are no longer on the pitch as of now. Peter Yarrow, the freshman from Ghana, two goals this year. Trying to step into the shoes of Michael Apia, left the big uh, shoes to fill in. Yeah. I, I think he's doing all right as a freshman. Um, Michael Apia with the COVID year had a little bit of an extra spring to suit in. So sometimes uh, these players come in and settle as a freshman and have a major sophomore year, which was the case with Oppie. I think Peter's on his way to hopefully have the same kind of career here at Arizona Western. Nick Canina. Deschetto. This back line so strong and big for the Matadors once again this year. Yarrow, the aforementioned winger, tries to curl it in and set it. Swipes behind the goal and out for a goal kick. 25 minutes to play. Scoreless here in the first half. Another substitution. Lucas Pomone, the freshman from France, is on. Comes in for Ortner. See how deep. Kenny Dale goes here on his bench. De Silva to Shadow. Nakadicha playing it to Yarrow on this right side. Peter scored in his college debut in that win against Casper earlier this year. Nakadicha left footed shot, skips on the ground, and then smothering it against the turf is Sandy, the keeper. First shot on goal for either team comes off the foot of Terry Makadicha. So there you go. Mention once that ball gets on the foot of Terry Makadicha. Has a tendency to make things happen. Time for the team leading goals this year. Zomo Kame had the defender just run right past him. Yoshida. Pamone. Fending off the defender, turns a corner and gets it out to Yoshida again wide. Grizzetti tried to play it through. Akadicha has it back. Paulo Grizzetti, a couple multi-goal games for him this year. Seeing his first action tonight. Akadicha. Puts it towards the sideline. Yoshida back to Terry on the edge of the 18. Tried to play it through the keeper's legs. No luck. Yoshida trying to keep it in, and he does. Or did he? Nope. One out. It'll go back to Yavapai on a throw with 23 minutes to play in the first half. forward. Grizzetti can't get around him. Matador's controlling possession all of a sudden. Playing it a wide on their attack. Mainly on that far side with Yoshida on the last few turns with possession. Kanina stepping in front of the attacker and it goes out off of Lopez and it will be a goal kick for Sato. Again, you can see in the match, the very isolated one attack 
Uh, it's going to be very difficult for Yavapai to do much with just to try and attack with one player. To, but again, that's their defensive stand. Uh, they're away. They're trying to be organized, not give Western something away early. So uh, as long as Western stays composed, keeps looking for these attacking players, I think you can see they're slowly gaining control of the match. Nakadichi on a feed from Yarrow just outside the 18. Waiting for help. He goes back to Peter. Yarrow goes with the right foot. Tried to cross it in. He is taken down and then knocked out for a throw near that corner flag. Over to take that throw will be Nozomu Kame. 21 minutes to play in this first half. Actually, a corner is the ruling, and then knocked away and cleared out wide. I sworn at first the flag went up for a throw. They change it to a corner. Hard to see the corners from where we sit. Grizzetti, right back to Kame. Paulo, Yoshida. It's wrestled away and out for a throw on that far sideline. And now we'll get a corner again for the Matadors, and Nozomu will come over to take that corner. And Nozomu this season, seven goals, six assists. He scored. Two goals in the last three games. Coming on as of late, just like how he started the season. Of course, had two goals in that first loss of the year at Southern Nevada, second game of the season on the 27th of August up in North Las Vegas. Knocking for position here, waiting to go ahead from the referee. Nozomu's ball into the box. Sandy stepping in front of Kanina. Well, Kanina's been that target man on the corners as of late. That's how he scored in the win against Pima 10 days ago. Seems like a lifetime ago between the final regular season game and the Region 1 title game. Peter Yarrow gets deep possessed. That was Phipps stuck a foot in there. Matador is really controlling possession right now, coach. Just trying to figure it out and then a turnover. Lopes on the run from just outside the box. Takes a shot. It skims just over the bar. A turnover almost proved costly on the counter. Again, those are the moments you want to avoid. I mean, a little mental lapse. Uh, back line makes a quick mistake, and Yavapai a couple centimeters to the... a little bit lower, and they're celebrating their one-up zero in the region final. So, again, uh, again, these finals, one goal changes everything. Uh, boys need to concentrate that back line. Uh, but, again, that's what Yavapai is going to look, being very direct and looking for Western to make a mistake. Flag is up. Grizzetti was offsides. Seventeen forty-three to play in the first half. No score. Peter Yarrow tracked back, and they're going to get Peter for a foul. Okay, 
So Yarrow with the foul. They're coming at the midfield area. Right-footed shot right to Sato. Couple of chances here all of a sudden for the Rough Riders. Again, Yavapai, as the game progresses on, now you're looking at they're in the match, 15 minutes left. They'll continue to build confidence. They've seen, hey, maybe we have an opportunity here. It's a region. Again, it's only 90 minutes. Uh, one little moment, they can be inspired. But I, I, I think Western will step in. A couple of changes here that might be available from Kenny Dale to settle back and regain control of the match here in the last 15 of the first half. So you have a pie with a shot that just missed that going under that top bar and then one that went right into the hands of Sato at the near post. All of a sudden, Yavapai has taken a bit of command. Campbell Young will play it back. Endo goes to Kanina. Nakaricha sends it wide. De Silva to Shadow, able to keep it in. Grizzetti, though, can't wrestle with Yorarte. Piercy plays it up far side. Vega. Just outside the 18, being bothered by an OA. Into the box, and that is off of Yavapai and out for a goal kick. It's a toss up there as Cardona and Endo were wrestling for position on the sideline. No score still. 15 minutes to go until halftime. So it's a 2 1 game up in Prescott. Back on the 5th of October. Substitution. Ernie Garza is on. The officials are meeting on that far sideline. They have stopped the clock. Fourth official. And we're back underway. The keeper, Sandy, sends it up and out. Right of the hands again of Fabian Munoz. minutes to play in the first half. Matadors have scored some late first half goals this year. Sometimes those late goals right before the intermission can be big lifts for teams in games like this and backbreakers for the team that concedes. De Silva to Shadow. Cross was deflected Falls to the feet of Zepete, the San Luis sidewinder. Akaricha, Grizzetti, back to Terry. Takes a shot with the left, but right into the defender. Cardona. Yoshida sends it back. Ernie Garza. The Yuma product played at Kofa. A couple of former Kofa Kings in the next game as well, both on Cochise. Goes out. Twelve fifty to play, first half. Grizzetti trying to flick it over the defender, a bit too strong. And again, it's like you said, Michael. Next twelve minutes, very crucial. One for Western, they're trying to get ahead, and the other one for Yavapai, they're trying not to give up a lead in the last ten minutes, which would crush their 
aspirations to be in this match. Right now, their game plan is try to keep it as close as possible. It's working out. They're being defensively and had a couple opportunity. I think, uh, again, Western needs to continue moving the ball around, looking for Terry to have a special moment. Um, but, again, these, these kind of matches are just uh, uh, grinders. you got to be composed, keep the ball moving around, get, get the look you like, and hear, hear the boys go connecting like we need them to. Rosetti. Akaricha spins. Terry, a couple more touches. Plays it wide. Yarrow outside the 18, crossing into the box. Peter taken down. He was tripped up. Might have been tripped up over his own feet. Kanina trying to keep it in the Avapai's half. Matador's wanted a handball. It's headed forward across the center line. The Avapai up the sideline. Long ball forward. And it go, we're going to get a foul just outside the box. A yellow is coming out against De Silva to Shadow, but that was close. Again, that matchup giving some issues to Western on that right side. Um, earlier, 10 minutes ago, they had a good look on goal. And here, a little bit fortunate to get the foul outside the box. as the official continues jotting down his notes. And a free kick from just outside the box. About 11 minutes to play here in the first half. Despite no score, it's been an eventful first 45. Right-footed shot, just goes wide. It was touched by Sato. It'll be a corner for Yavapai. Sato just stuck that left hand out there and got a piece of it. He's had a very good career here. Two first, the two years of being first team all conference uh, stepped in after Duro left being an All American here on 2019. But Sato's come up; he's got a lot of qualities. Uh, very comfortable with these situations and set pieces. So uh, we're very fortunate to have him there in the back. That he's got that ability to manage his box so well. Substitutes are waiting to come in, and as they were some pushing and shoving occurring in front of Sato, the a referee steps in to have a quick word with the parties involved. Right now, watching the match, it's great to get some messages from the alumni. Got a couple from Red Juan Romulo. Guys are doing well at their next home now. What a season those guys put together the last couple of years. They turned it on starting in that COVID season. The momentum continued to build into a national tournament appearance last year. And that's what the Matador was trying to get back to. Now, this time in Melbourne, Florida. Oh, spinning around was Garza. Akaricha, Terry, far side, Yarrow, he's onside, Peter slides it into the 18, knocked away, falls to the feet of Grisetti, Paulo's shot deflects off a of body and is played out by the Yavapai back line. Peter Yarrow, again, coming in from this right side. It came on after Vergara picked up a yellow. Uh, Peter providing some pace here on this right side. A poor touch. Playing it back towards the sideline. Endo. All played forward. This 
right now, just rolling around the feet. And a foul is called as Canino was wrestled over the touchline. It's more of a preventive move for Lopez, who is falling down, but a foul nonetheless. In no way. Yoshida. Garza. Try to get it back to Yoshida. No luck. Played all the way back to Sato. 7.30 to go. First half. No score. Yarrow. all the way back, and he tried to play it off a Rough Rider, and Tichetto does so successfully. It goes to the Matadors for a throw. Terry wants to go quickly. Grizzetti being held. Ball's gonna roll out under our table, and we can come together here on this near sideline. Boiling over a bit. here on this near sideline. You know, it was a tense matchup in Prescott. Boiling over a bit here late in the first half. Finally, separate everyone involved, and the officials will talk it over. Grizzetti was taken down on the near sideline, and things kind of went from there, Coach. Well, it's a rivalry matchup. <laughs> Western Yavapai, boys are heated up, very touchy. Um, as long as it doesn't get out of hand, doesn't get out of hand, you have to applaud that the passion is there. I uh, just have to be keep in mind that respectful and keep being able to continue playing. And here we have a little bit of coming together again now. The card is out. It is a yellow. How many is he going to give? With 6.54 to play in the first half. Yellow to Grizzetti. And I believe Larson will Is he gonna get one too or just a talking to? Card is still out. In these cases just to talk to the players, get the Official again regain control of the match. I think again. And the yellow does come out for Larson. Could create for a very entertaining second 45 here this evening. I think both both teams realize what's at stake. It's a t ticket to go play Salt Lake, get an opportunity to go to Nationals. Uh, you wouldn't expect less. Sortner is going to come on for Grizzetti, who goes out with his yellow. At risk, picking up a red. And this one. It's going to be a throw for Yavapai on this near sideline. Logan Phipps. Throw it in. It was a 2021 Player of the Year in the MPSL for Oceanway FC. Now 
Matador's winning possession back. Nick Canina playing it back to the keeper, Sato. And that's out for a throw for the Matadors. And the Silva Tichetto comes over and takes charge. He'll take the throw. Peter wanted to go quickly. Yoshida. Ortner trying to go back to Yoshida. Eric Vera into the game for the first time. Heads it forward. Foul is called. Nezomu Kame went down. Matadors play it quickly. Yoshida with a bit of run. Playing it wide. Yarrow back into the 18. Deflects off Yoshida. And then out of there by Yavapai. Garza. Heavy touch. And he lost it. Yoshida. And a foul is called as Shoki went down. Good spot. It'll take a long strike, but it's definitely in range and in a good position. The physicality picking up a little bit, Coach. Five minutes ago in this first 45-minute stanza. Looks like Yoshida will stand over it. Shoki, the transfer from Wilmington University. What a season he's had in his debut in Yuma. Yoshida steps up, takes a shot with the right foot way too high. Got under it and slices it towards the scoreboard. Still scoreless. kick for Sandy. Headed forward. Goes out for a throw for the Matadors. But the long throw forward goes right to Yorarte. Yarrow. Ortner back to Peter. Yarrow into the 18. Peter, tight angle shot is out for a corner. Yorarte went down to a slide to keep that one from getting to his keeper. Yarrow, though, proving dangerous here early on. Finding ways into the 18 from both sides. The freshman winger. Ball fall to the foot of Kanina, but couldn't follow up on it before it was punched away. Headed into the 18. Back out to Silva to Shadow. And that trickles through all the way. The keeper, Sandy, will play it with his feet. Yoshida, out wide, Garza, on cross, goes all the way through, was trying to find Yarrow on the other end of it. Yavapai with a quick reset. They try to play quickly, on sides, this is Hunter, but stepping in front of him is Endo, it's out for a corner. Are they going to say it went off Hunter? It did, it'll be a goal kick. The Avapai appealing for a corner will not win that fight. And it's living up to be a region final. 0-0, zero, zero, two minutes left. Uh, both teams have had their opportunities and their looks. Uh, best thing right now, I think both will play it safe, try to get to the half scoreless and then look to their coaches to see for indications of how to get the adjustment. And we knew it would be a good one. It's living up to that billing. Yarrow touches it down. Peter goes off and him and out. 
to be a throw for Yavapai. Great crowd on hand. People continue to show up. Of course, the Lady Matadors taking on the Apaches at seven in the women's region one final. Foul on Yarrow. He got tangled up with Phipps. They're going to move that ball all the way back, however. Well, the contact started. They're trying to play advantage. Yeah, right near midfield. Uh, Peter definitely with a little, little bit of a grab. Under a minute to go in this tight first half. This is the kind of thing as a coach you always talk about. Be smart, last minute, there's always the last one. Here trying to finish off of half, you give Yalapai a set piece. Uh, uh, again, not the situation you want to find yourself trying to go into the half. Phipps with the left foot to the edge of the box, headed away by Eric Vera. Long run, Ortner with some pace. Can't get by the second line defender, Joey Vega. Under 10 seconds to go. And that's how the first half will come to an end off a big boot from Garza that goes well out of play. First 45 minutes in the books here this evening. No score between the Matadors and the Rough Riders in the Region 1 Championship game. We'll have the Burgers and Beer Halftime Show in just a little bit here on AWC-TV. Contigo mejor
Welcome into the Burgers and Beer Halftime Show, serving you with the best burgers in town for over 20 years, caring for education students and teachers. We are Burgers and Beer. Matador Sports and the Matador Sports Network is brought to you by Chapman Automotive. Make sure to visit our friends Chapman Automotive for the best in sales and service. Check out their convenient locations in Arabo for playing to their strength. That's what Yalapai coming to visit and trying to get a result here. Obviously, they're going to look to counter. Those both op those opportunities came off a of counter on the left. I, I, I think both... Both sides playing to their strength, and here in the second half, we were still 0-0. I think in this kind of match, Yavapai, uh, Western, obviously, we need to settle down, continue to be composed, swing the ball around, and I think it will come. It was a very similar match last year uh, as far as that first half, 0-0. That's what you expect when we can, and, and you saw in the last minute, they had that dangerous set piece, and that's what they're looking for. That's been Yavapai's bread and butter since even before this coach back to the Pantaleon day. So I think very interesting here at second half. And you saw that little uh, <laughs> salute the boys gave each other. But that's what you want. You want these games to be tight, interesting second half. And I think it's the crowd. Look at this beautiful crowd. So many people here. That's what they wanted to see. Region final. And again, uh, a berth to the... So the Matadors and the Rough Riders. I think we're just waiting on the uh, referees before we can do anything here in the second half. Kind of need them. Yes. No, they've had an interesting first half. A <laughs> they lot of yellow stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the center's arm is getting a little tired from raising it uh, <laughs> so much in that first half. Uh, the Division Two Region One Men's Final is tomorrow, and that should be a uh, outstanding uh, one coming up as we take a look at our Alexander Toyota Out of Town scoreboard. Alexander Toyota is U.S. number one Toyota dealer. Join the winning team for saving selection and service on hundreds of new and certified pre owned Toyotas. Alexander Toyota and you will visit myalexandertoyota.com for more info. Pima and Phoenix. That's three versus one in that one on the men's side, also on the women's side. Uh, coming up in uh, just less than 24 hours in downtown Phoenix. That should be a pretty good one. And that's no surprise. Historically, since the division, the split of the divisions, Phoenix and Pima, it's a two horse race at that level. Um, I think on the boys' side and on the girls' side, I would give the, I would expect Phoenix to raise silverware just like we would do here at Wood Western. I think Phoenix will take care of Pima. Again, great matchups. I think Western benefits from them uh, still being a, a, a game during the season. And if we all know if those teams were at the Division One level, they'd be a top 20 program for either side. 
Matador Athletics, AWC TV, and Matador Sports Network brought to you by Human National Airport. Planning a quick weekend getaway. We don't put miles in your car. Enterprise, Hertz, Budget, and Avis car rental agencies are conveniently located at Yuma International Airport and are open early in the morning and later into the evening, giving you more bang for your buck. Yuma International Airport, we've got your travel covered. The officials have found their way out of the locker room as they are uh, back from their uh, about a 13-minute rest <laughs> for the officials after that first half, and which had a couple of the yellows, uh, one big gathering near the sidelines as well uh, in that one. So Still uh, waiting to restart. We've got a discussion with the uh, officials and head coach Kenny Dale along with Yavapai head coach Chris Hauser on that far sideline in front of the scorer's table. Whatever that conversation is about, it is now concluded. And we are about to get this highly anticipated second 45 minutes underway. One half down, three more to go tonight. Region one championship games, double header this evening here in Yuma. Sun setting behind us, glowing on the Gila Mountains. Off to the east, underway in the second half. Yavapai playing it back. If anything like the first 45 minutes. The second will be a battle. Kanina able to play it back to Sato. Sends it forward. Just out of the reach of Christopher Korn, a sophomore forward from Oakland. Vega sends it on the ground. Bill Judas, they play it up. Lopez off the side of the body of Endo and a corner coming for Yavapai uh, here in the first 60 seconds of the second half. So Yavapai with a good start to the second half. Take the corner will be Michael Moges. Second team all ACCAC last year. His two goals, three assists out of the midfield. Skims all the way through. A shot is high and over. Oh, you have a pie. Second one tonight they put over the bar. That one got past a couple of Matador defenders and fell right to the foot. And again, you have a pie. That, that's the look they're looking for, a set piece. Again, off to a good start. Uh, we'll see how Matadors respond here and try to see if they can put some passes together and find themselves back in the match. On the far side, played back into the middle. Well, Judas had his pass deflected, taken back. Nick Canina. Sato will dribble outside of the 18 and send one towards the sideline off the shoulder of Garza, but it finds Terry Makaricha. Plays a ball forward. Garza able to deflect it towards the 18. It's a race for it, but Sandy, the keeper, wins it. He had the shorter distance to converse. And again, a lot on the line tonight. I mean, the boys are ranked number nine. I think... Uh... Also at out-large bid, should things not pan out against Salt Lake, that's also on the line tonight. Oh, they're going to call a foul on that one or a penalty. It's a penalty. Or is it a, well, 
thing. It looked like it was on the edge of the box. Yeah, it's going to be a free kick. Not sure yeah, why the official pointed at the spot. Yeah, he's pointed towards the spot. It's been a tough night. <laughs> Tired from the first half. So fortunate break there. It wasn't as close as it seemed, but the official originally gave the signal pointing to the spot. I think he was just turned around and was trying to just point forward. So it'll be a free kick. Just outside the 18. You have a pie on the front foot early here in the second half. All the way through and headed just outside the bar by Jacob Larson. Close. Once again, Priyavapai in this first five minutes of the second half. They brought flashbacks of the game up there. Set piece and overtime goal. So again, uh, Yavapai off to a very strong start in these five minutes. Had a couple of looks. Uh, here at Western, I think the boys need to relax a bit connect a couple passes and then try to regain control of the match, which they were doing fine in the uh, yawning minutes of the first half. Up ahead, Endo steps in front with a strong tackle and takes it away. Shitaro plays it up. Nizomu Kame trying to feed it forward. Take it away by Yavapai. goes out for a throw for the Matadors. That rolls all the way through to Sato. Young had that one knocked into the air. Eric Vera wins a header. Back to Kame. Eric Vera, the sophomore from San Luis. Endo sends it forward. We just kind of have that ball knock around in the Matador's half. And he had quite a showing at the Nationals. Eric Vera had asked to step in for Romerick in a semifinal against Salt Lake. As a freshman, uh, did in, came and did the job, got the result. So uh, has that experience. Hopefully some of that now stepping in today, he can show a little bit of that experience he got from the National Tournament. And another foul, this time against Campbell Young. It's getting physical here in the first five minutes of the second half. Now into the sixth minutes. Even more physical if this game stays scoreless. into the box, headed back. And that's going to go well wide and out for a goal kick, and that stops the momentum a bit for Yavapai. But they've come out in the second half and have kind of uh, taken over things a bit. Well, again, uh, as mentioned, uh, here in this kind of matchup, the longer you kept them into the match, as we say as coaches, you're inviting them, you're giving them confidence. Uh, their game plan was to come in, try to stay in the first half, and they managed that. Now, they feel they actually have an opportunity to get a look. And if they do, it will complicate this uh, Matador side who's ranked ninth, ninth in the nation. I, I think uh, right here is that where the Kenny Dale needs to, you know, uh, calm the boys, tell them we're okay, and, and regain control of the match. Why what? Going to what they do, swing the ball around, find a little momentum. I think, you know, Kenny's 
working with his sideline right now, trying to find the answer sphere for the Seattle Pie side. Nizomo sprinting. Puts it across. It goes off the side of Larson and out for a corner. Into the game for the first time tonight is sophomore midfielder Takaro Murakawa. One of the many transfers. And uh, Victor, a guy who has experience. He's played in two NJC AA Division II national title games for CCBC Essex. Of course, last year falling on penalties to Pima in that final. Murakawa tees it up in front of the corner flag. Puts the right foot to it. Just to the edge of the 18. Headed out for another corner. It hit a rough rider last. Murakawa will stay over there and give it another try. And Murakawa as a freshman. They lost to Southeastern Iowa in the championship game in Wichita. And then last year to Pima. You know, he wants to get back to another national tournament. This time an NJCA Division I national tournament. And that's headed high and over by De Silva to Shetto. Still scoreless nine minutes into the second half. Makaricha. Tried to step in front. Long ball forward and pulled down by Yavapai. But a bad touch, and De Silva to Shadow sends it back over the line. Running with it now on the dribble. Moses lost it. There'll be a throw. Matador Soccer and the Matador Sports Network brought to you by Chapman Automotive Group, celebrating their 56th amazing year with more than 25 locations across two states and featuring 19 world class brands. Finding the perfect ride is never been easier. Or you can shop their entire inventory online at chapmanaz.com. Murakawa can't get to it. Vega, he'll take a right-footed shot, took a deflection, sneaks through the legs of Sato, and Atsuki is able to reach back and grab it before it got to the line. And that goes out for a throw for the Matadors. As a goalkeeper coach, probably one of the scariest moments you can have your goalkeeper scrambling with the ball on the line. Uh, luckily, he's able to recover. And here, Yavapai again gaining momentum on that right side, looking to service. And there's Endo, just strong. And he's getting his leg dragged by Vega. And I know I wanted to play quick, but Endo and Vega were still having a conversation. So we'll take this free kick. And one, nothing. And there you have it, the moment we were waiting for. Again, uh, a lot of pressure for a couple things you can do. You can either change formation, go forward. But again, now this falls right into Western of with Yavapai trying to go forward. Western, can we'll see what Yavapai does to adjust. So one, nothing lead. On Shoki Yoshida. You saw it develop as he went to the back post. Sandy had a lot of ground to cover. The only question was that going to stay inside the post? Campbell Young comes over with the tackle. The veteran Campbell Young, another. Talking about champions, I just got a message from Romarek. I uh, hope you're well, former captain here, All-American. Best to you. Hope you're doing well, Romarek. We're all proud of you. We miss you out here. And hopefully you're enjoying the match. It's been a good one so far. It always is when these two teams get together the last few years. Ball pinballs between Kamai and Piercy. Long run forward. Endo track back perfectly. Takes it off the foot of Topete, and we get a foul called on Yavapai. Which about 31 minutes to go in this one. Shoki Yoshida, one of three Matadors named all ACCAC. Along with Azomu Kame and Atsuki Sato, and it's Yoshida, who 
who puts one into the net first tonight. Yoshida tried to step up and take that one away. Vega plays it forward. Kanina headed it back to Sato, the keeper, who falls forward with the uh, Rough Rider Lopez standing near him. Peter Yarrow back in down that far sideline. Uh, Peter trying to play it around Phipps, the defender in that corner, headed away outside the box. Murakawa puts it into the 18, headed away by Korn, the forward who's playing back for Yavapai. A couple of Rough Riders collide. Toshetto wins possession back. Yarrow gets around the defender. Peter sends it. Makaricha settles it, steps to his left. Kicks it back out, Campbell Young, right-footed shot right into the hands of the keeper, Rashawn Sandy, who boots it forward. And Jin and Owe, backpedaling, heads it out of play to stop any further intrusion from Yavapai. He's done a good job to step in. Last year they put him uh, more up top as a nine, had a good goal actually against UNLV, so... Uh, but he's done a good job to adjust to that left back position and you see the pace that he gives us in the back. Zobo Kame. Yoshida. And it deflected away. And then played back up and no way will track back. Invite some pressure and play it to Sato the keeper. Natsuki will flip the field a bit. Murakawa. Yarrow on that right side. Back to Murakawa. Heavy touch forward. Uh, Peter's not going to get there in time. Played back towards the midfield. And De Silva to Shadow. Campbell Young. Yoshida. Uh, Shoki. The only goal of this game coming off his foot. Kame. Makaricha back to Campbell Young. He'll take the long distance strike. Too much air underneath it into that back netting. And a substitution for Yavapai. About 28 minutes to play in this one. A one nothing lead for the Matadors. Trying to win back-to-back -back Region 1 titles. Won the ACC AC title. Trying to perform another double this season. I think the boys feel it tonight. Uh, 27 minutes away. Going region back-to-back -back, like you say. And punching in their ticket to go up and dance at Salt Lake, which, again, one of the top teams in the nation, And but they still got to get through this Yavapai team in the next 27 minutes. Still 1-0 game. You've seen Yavapai coming forward, looking for that opportunity. I think as we reach minute 20, they'll have to come forward, even open up more to give themselves an opportunity, see if they can tie it up. Bouncing back. De Silva to shadow the sophomore from Brazil. Uh, dribbling it back, he's going to have to just play it out, and he does. And De Silva Teixeira, as mentioned, was at the University of Northwestern Ohio last year, and what notable about their athletic department, they sponsor the Varsity Auto Racing. They're the racers. Headed towards goal, and just to the right of that near stick, actually asks De Silva Teixeira, he said it's a big deal. The auto racing teams, they have um, stock car, drag racing. There you go. If you want to be Formula One, that must be the place to go. <laughs> Lima, Ohio. Uh, their logo is actually a checkered flag, too. And now he well, wears the AWC colors, and boy, has he been impactful in that back line for Kenny Dale in his sophomore year. Yoshida. Akadicha. Terry's been active tonight. Gets around a defender as he beats Korn down the sideline, but he couldn't beat the second defender. Coming over was Urarte. And then a miscue. Ball is played over the line. An out. A throw for the Matadors. And Shoki Yoshida will take the throwing duties. And if you think of it, Michael, if you look at our starting lineup, only two starters left from that national team that uh, was 
one one game away from being a national champion. So again, great job by Kenny Dale and his staff to again put the Matadors in a position to be region champs again and back to back. But bringing two returners and now having to again be in that region final again, a lot of work done. I think the boys right now are starting to find, you know, they need to regain control of the match. I think that goal was at the right time. They've now regained control of the match, momentum. You see now Yavapai being a little pressed for time as they realize the clock is now their worst enemy in this uh, Region 1 final. That goes out, and it's off of Nakadicha. It'll be a throw for Yavapai. Play back. Moses. Near side. El Judas. Towards the top of the 18. Just can't turn himself. Campbell Young went flipping over his right leg. And then sweeping over was Murakawa to intercept it. Long ball forward. Peter Yarrow, can he track it down? He can. It's headed away by Larson. Now Peter quickly heading back. Providing pressure. Campbell Young, heavy tackle. And he's going to be well whistled. Twenty-four minutes to play in this Region One final. Right-footed shot is over again. And the Avapai has had couple of opportunities tonight that they've just put over that bar. Too close to comfort if you're Kenny Dale and the Matadors. The ball just kind of bounced towards the top of the 18 and a volley. Yeah, you saw the defender kind of lose track of it. Luckily wasn't able to get a clean connection on it or uh, we'd be talking about something a little different right now. Yoshida can't win the header, but it goes to Inoue, who sends it up quickly to Nakadicha. Back to Jin. He'll play it forward. Yoshida trying to run it down. It's headed out by Uarte. Got a throw for the Matadors, who right now aren't in too big of a hurry to take this throw. 22 minutes to go, though. Long time to go. An eternity here with a one-goal lead. Ball bounced around. Makadicha trying to find a, a lane for a cross. It's taken away towards that corner flag and then played back up. And Yoshida's going to let that one roll into the a long line of spectators. Huge crowd tonight, only growing larger with the 7 p.m. game approaching on a Friday night. Temperatures dropping. The sun continues to set just to our backs. Disappearing beyond the house gymnasium. That goes out for a throw as Yarrow was trying to trek up that far touch line. One nothing lead on Shoki Yoshida's 57th minute strike. Sixth of the season. And that is out for another throw for the Matadors. Well, the tempo of this game has changed a bit over the last five minutes. Well, I mean, you're up 1-0 now. you got to be a little... It's all about management from this point on. AWC wants to keep possession, keep Yabapai at bay, not giving them a set piece, not giving them a counter, uh, and coming forward as much as possible. But again, you're up 1-0, 20 minutes left. Yeah, you slow down the pace. You see them taking a little more time on the throw-in. Uh, just that experience from Kenny Dale and his staff to tell the boys, hey, we're in the final. We got to run down the clock if we're up 1-0. Loose ball in the box. Falls to Kame. Right-footed shot is in. It's two for the Matadors. Nizomu Kame makes it 2-0 with 21 minutes to go here in the Region 1 final. And there you have it. A moment of disconcentration by Yawapai. A great player, Nozomo. Just a 
bouncing off Kame and Korn. And Nozomu pokes it to the back post and in. Nozomu Kame with his eighth of the season. Now 21 career goals in his AWC career. Now the Matadors fell 2-1 to one in a heartbreaker in Prescott earlier this month. Stopped their long winning streak. And now we get some chatting in the midfield. Again, here, Western has to be careful. Stay oh, composed. No, yeah. Want to pick up a red or a yellow when you've got a district final against a very, very, very good Salt Lake team that'll be waiting for them. With lots of time left in this one for Yavapai to do something. A team that can score quickly. Ball played through. Kanina got a touch on it. Plays it up to Kame. out 20 minutes to play in this one I want to thank assistant coach and goalkeeper coach Victor Verdugo for hopping on the headset he's off to the locker room as they get ready for uh, the Lady Matadors matchup with Coach East in that region one final Yoshida right-footed shot from distance. Oh, Shoki took a shot at it. Under 20 to go. What a second half of the Matadors. Yavapai started the second half with a couple of opportunities. They put a ball over the post. Over the bar, I should say. Then one just wide of the post on a header off a set piece. Ever since then, the Matadors have taken control. But here comes Yavapai on this far side. Across into the 18. Right-footed shot behind the goal and towards Walt Kamen baseball field. Well, Inoue was able to play behind Sato a bit there as the ball uh, flew over the Matadors keeper. Uh, Jin was able to Get a touch on it to just maybe allow Sato some time to get back. Ended up not mattering. Uh, Jin wins a header, but it goes out for a throw for Yavapai. Under 19 to play. That goes out. That or soccer brought to you by Chapman Automotive. Make sure to visit our friends Chapman Automotive for the best in sales and service. Check out their convenient locations in Arizona and Las Vegas. Or make it even easier on yourself by shopping their entire inventory online at ChapmanAZ.com. Murakawa playing it forward. The experience of Murakawa starting to show here. Campbell Young sends it near side. Shoki Yoshida who opened the account for the Matadors back in the 57th minute. Puts it towards the near post trying to chase it down was Nozomu Kame but Sandy got to it. His ball goes back off one of his defenders and he has to send it out for a throw. And we have a Matador down inside the 18 on the far side. It looks like a Peter Yarrow, athletic trainer. Chris Black is coming on from the sideline.
Peter has uh, provided a spark off the bench. He came on early in the first half after Emilio Vergara picked up a early yellow card. being walked off towards the end line with athletic trainer Chris Black. He was in his third year on the athletic training staff here at Arizona Western College. Former cross-country runner at the University of Idaho. So Peter on that far side of the box and you know, whatever it is, it must have happened before the Yeah, he goes down right here, so it must be a leg injury on the run. He is walking off on his own. But now stopping and hunched over towards that corner flag and continues his walk towards the sideline. Seventeen twenty-nine to play. Matadors leading 2-0. Shoki Yoshida in the 57th minute, and then Nozomu Kame in the 69th. Well, the Matadors with the throw after the keeper, Rashawn Sandy, just had to send that ball out of play as he was way out of position. Went to kick that ball upfield, went off the back of one of his defenders. Ernie Garza is going to throw it in. And he threw it in too early for the referee's liking. He actually wants him to reposition and move back. Now if you're Kenny Dale and you've got the luxury of uh, bringing an Ernie Garza on as a substitute, Ernie providing experience off that bench, he scored the game winner in the opener this year in the 90th minute against Casper. Not many teams can say they have the depth that this squad does. Zomu Campbell Young trying to chase it down, flicks it forward and finds Makadicha along the touchline. Terry fighting for possession. He lost it. It's going to be a throw for Yavapai. Terry arguing he was pushed. Jin Inoue. Able to knock that one out. Nakadicha. Spins around and plays it back to Nozomo. Ball rolling towards the touchline. Now sprinting with it is Korn. Sliding tackle. Inoue knocks it out of play. A throw for Yavapai. 16 minutes to go. 2-0 lead for the Matadors. And De Silva to Shadow sends that one. Out. <laughs> Santo sends it up. Makaricha holds off his defender. Uses the outside of his foot to find Nozomo Kamei. 
Ball goes out. Ernie Garza will throw it in. Plays it quickly. Makarica sprinting into the 18. Slight tackle made by Urarte, and he wins possession. He was the last line of defense, and he made the play for Yavapai. Garza back to Kame into the midfield. Campbell Young uh, leading Murakawa. Yoshida outside to Silva to Shadow. Lines one of the 18, too close to the post, and the keeper, Sandy, interferes. On the counter, Yavapai with it. The San Luis native, Topete, towards the corner. He's their leading goal scorer. Take it away, Garza sends it out. Couple of Yuma County products going at it there. And the flag is up, foul called on Inouye. So free kick, just outside the box. Long run, Garza trying to get there. Corn and Garza come together, it's out off of Corn. Possession one by Yavapai, 13 minutes to go. Yavapai showing a sense of urgency. Ball played into the box, headed on, back out towards the top of the 18. Nozomo Kame sends it up. That goes out. And we have substitutions for both teams. St. Louis Ortner is going to come back on for the Matadors. Tied for the team leading goals this year with the Mannies replacing Terry Makadicha, each with nine. Sandy plays it forward. Ball volleyed. And a handball is called against the Matadors. Joey Vega and Shitaro Endo come together. Place just outside the 18. Dangerously close. The clock stops by the official. 10.53 to go. off that left arm of Nick Kanina who will take this one for Yavapai a trio of rough riders from all angles now just two and it's over the goal 
Yavapai has not calibrated tonight. It's now five that have gone over the bar. The first one being the closest earlier tonight. Foul on Ortner comes together with Moses. And the clock is stopped. Ten minutes to play. Sandy from midfield into the 18. Sato steps up one keeper to another. Atsuki slips. Right back to Yavapai. Across into the 18, punched away by Sato, and he tracks it down. And Atsuki sends it away. The game last year finished 2-0 in favor of the Matadors. It's 2-0 now in favor of AWC with 9.18 to go. Give and go, Korn running down the near sideline. Right footed cross deflected away. Now Garza slowing it down a bit and Ernie plays it forward. Sandy way off his line, punches it into the crowd. He was the last line of defense. He was way outside the box. They're playing up here down by two goals with under nine minutes to go. Murakawa, Ortner back to Murakawa, a bit too strong on the touch. A through ball knocked away by Kanina. Delays the attack. Lopez. Cross skips all the way into goal, into the hands of Sato. Suki, not in much hurry to get rid of this one as you know about eight minutes ago. Nazomo knocked down. Defended by Yavapai. Played forward. Across. Headed towards goal and in. Joey Vega with the goal off a perfect cross from Ian Tepede with 7.35 to go. It's 2-1. to one. So Yavapai with some momentum late. They're within one. Matador is trying to get to the finish line. A goal in the 82nd minute for Yavapai. Endo heads it back. Garza pressing the issue. Ernie wins possession. Foul called.
And a yellow card is coming out as Nozomu Kamei took the right foot of Korn on his ankle. Six fifty to go. Sato is going to come up and take this free kick. Kamei. The ball to flex on to goal. Sandy, the keeper, has got it. goes out. So foul. Six minutes on the dot remaining. That goes out. Yavapai will get possession back. Towards the outside. And the cross deflected out. And last off, Yavapai. Another goal kick. 5.36 to go. Substitutions coming. Matador Soccer on the Matador Sports Network brought to you by Yuma International Airport, Brewers Restaurant and Sports Bar. The airport terminal serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner and delivers out to Avenue 9E. Check out the amazing airfield views from Brewers Skybox located on the second floor. The perfect setting for lunches or watching your favorite sporting event with family and friends. Parking is validated. Young sends it forward. Sandy steps in front and takes it away. He'll roll it forward. Knocked away. Campbell Young. Kamei looking for support. He'll dribble forward into Yavapai's half and sending it back to Murakawa but behind the intended target. And Yavapai has it back with 4.30 to go. Peter Yarrow has checked back in after leaving the contest a little bit ago with a knock on the leg. Headed into the box. Right-footed shot. Tapped over the bar. Oh, my goodness. Yavapai comes close to equalizing. They go over the bar again. Under four minutes to play. A 2-1 lead for Arizona Western. Clinging to that one goal advantage. Just grazing the bar above Atsuki Sato. Sato sends that one way upfield. All the way back, Nick Canino winds up, kicks it on the volley. Yarrow on the touchline. Can't keep it in. He puts it off top of the awning above the sideline, but it was already over the touchline, so the flag points to the Matadors.
De Silva to Shetto. Steps forward. Now they blow the whistle right when he kicks it. Clock stopped with 2.42. And De Silva to Shetto is going to get warned here for time wasting. Get it down to 242. Before the official had enough. All the way to the keeper, and it almost went through the gloved hands of Sandy. Headed back, not all the way out. Vega. Just outside the box, steps inward into the middle, but too far. Yoshida got a touch. Now a left-footed shot, bangs off a defender. Kamei clears it. Out for a throw. Chances starting to add up a bit for Yavapai. Late, headed on to goal and down to a knee. Sato corrals it against his chest. Atsuki will lay on it for a brief moment. And Sato with a lot of hang time boots this one into Yavapai's half, headed towards the sideline. Korn able to keep it in for Yavapai and then punt it away towards the gates by Ortner. 126 to go. Two balls on the field now. Take care of that other ball, which was behind the play. Endo sends it out, saves it from being a corner. It's going to be a throw for Yavapai. 1-11 to go. They're sprinting to get into position. Yorarte will take the throw. He'll try to heave this one into the 18. He does so. Campbell Young falling backwards, got rid of it. Headed forward by Nozomu Kame. Ortner plays it up. Sandy, the last line of defense, punts it forward all the way to Sato, who leaps up and grabs it with 46 seconds to go. He'll let that clock wind a little bit further before he has to do anything with it. And now he'll put it on the ground. Atsuki will kick it with 35 seconds. Ortner chasing back to provide some pressure on Yavapai's keeper. Peter Yarrow stepped forward. 25 seconds. Played forward. Anoe trying to win the header. Stepping in front was Garza. Ernie with 15 seconds plays it forward. Off the leg of Piercy. Put forward with 10 seconds to go. Kanita heads it forward. Campbell Young punts it away. And the Matadors back to back. Well, hold on. A whistle just blew and they stopped the clock. And now the referee is walking towards the table. The clock expired, but the official had stopped the clock with his signal a couple of seconds before then. Of course, a whistle picked up by our microphone. And we're gonna put some time back on the clock here. And now we've got players coming together. Now what's going on here? They're chasing after Campbell Young. So they put three seconds back on the clock. So here's where the stoppage comes. It's headed forward by Nick Kanina. Put three seconds back on. And 
And a free kick coming. For the Matadors. They need to clear the space so they can kick this ball. And they let the three seconds run off. And the Matadors have won back-to-back -back Region 1 titles. A 2-1 victory over Yavapai here tonight. And the Matadors will play for a West District title next week. So Arizona Western wins it here this evening, 2-1. to one. The winner was Nozomu Kame's goal in the 69th minute. As the Matadors win this one, we'll take a break. Back after this on AWC-TV.
con el jueguito allá? ¿Sí? Sí, 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 sí,